now. You said we got to understand what the word believe means. Right, like etymology of it. Like if you look at the word believe and you look at the middle of it, what's in the middle of the word believe? Are you serious, bro? I mean, why? Believe means to have an opinion. But to know means... This is what it means to believe, brother. So up, chapter 32, verse 24. Yo. He that believeth in the Lord... He that believeth in God, that's what? Taketh heed to the commandment. You would take heed to what the brothers is teaching you today. And get those crazy doctrines out of your mind. That ain't got nothing to do with doctrine. I it is a that. doctrine. Talk about the etymology of believing. You see, B-E, the B part, you see, that's above. You understand? No, and then the L-I-E, the middle that's of the it, one. you see, that's, that's a lie. One. Brother, what the, what the hell are you talking about? Let me ask you a question real quick. You said that you always, you you never oh, liked that in, or you never dealt with that in. I've never been dealt with it. Every you time they ask me about what I want to practice in my life, you know what I always do? I'm neutral. You're neutral. What does that mean? I'm not this way, I'm not that way. What does that mean? Picking no sides at all. So that means that you was not hot for the real truth, nor cold for that. Did you understand that Christ was a black man? Based upon the description in the beginning of the Bible. In the Bible, but then you said you was neutral. You don't believe what's in the Bible. Let me ask you, what you do for Thanksgiving? I didn't do, I didn't do no, uh, the, I didn't do the pagan holiday thing. No, I didn't do all that. Celebrate Christmas. I'm always cautious of that. Especially, especially, it didn't take me years to learn about what pork is made from and everything. Like that. I what does, about, I does, um, I does uh, self edification. Shrimp. I had it before. Lobster. I, I saw something about that. What about crab cakes. I've had that before. Still I've eat saw, it? I've, mm, Catfish? I've, no. I've saw the thing about shrimp though, how but shrimp is actually made from it's shaped like a roach. Okay, roaches of the sea, right? Mm -hmm. Good. So that means you have some aspect of what you need to be doing, right? Self edification. So it's not self edification. Now you need to learn from men. Get that in Acts. Now you have to humble yourself down to really learn the true gospel and start following it. Right. Not sometimes eating shrimp. Not being in the middle neutral. There is no neutral. Neutral is death. You yeah. understand that? Huh. How? Let's get that. Get that in Revelation real quick. Revelation chapter 3, verse 15. I know thy works, uh -huh. that thou art neither cold. You're neither cold for this truth here, or nor hot. Or hot for this truth. Meaning you're neutral. You're in the middle. Right? Read. I would thou wert cold or hot. Christ said, I'd rather you either be the devil that the Bible speaks of. Eat your shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. Celebrate Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, all that stuff. Don't wear your fringes. Fornicate, do all that. Live it up in this world here. We'd rather you be cold. Or, or hot. Or hot. Meaning, you come in here, you learn this truth, and you start fighting to knock off the, the sin that's on all of us. To knock off, become that perfect being. Right. To work on that thing. Right. Get in the fight. The problem is our people ain't willing to fight. Right. Right. The officer brought out laws about fringes. He brings out, he tells us that's how you love your neighbor as yourself. Right. Right. It's a fight. That's when you know that you're fighting. When you're neutral, you might as well be cold because you're not even willing to fight. That's cowardly. Yes, you're right. a coward. You don't want to pick a side. So what's Christ going to do? Read it from the top again. I know thy word, uh -huh. that thou art neither cold nor hot. You know that Christianity is pagan. You know that there's something wrong with the foods that our people are eating. You know that hatred is wrong. You know that stuff. But you're not cold or hot though. Read it again from the top. I know thy work, uh -huh. that thou art neither cold nor hot. But you got to understand it. Christ says, I know your works. I know that you're not cold or hot. Read. I would thou wert cold or hot. He'd rather you be cold or hot, meaning you need to start congregating. He'd rather you be hot for this truth out here on this side of your brethren, with your brethren, teaching your people. Start walking this walk here. Right. Read. So then, because thou art lukewarm. Because you're in the middle. Because you're neutral. Read. And neither cold nor hot. You're not cold or hot. You know that that's fake. You know that the Bible says that he's a black man, but you, you ain't gonna pick a side. What is Christ gonna do? 
I will spew thee out of my mouth. You are going to be put to death. That's right. why, because you being neutral means that you're not going to commit to the word of God. Right. right. Means you're not going to come back to your nationality. Right. Means you're not going to come back to what's rightfully yours, which is the kingdom of heaven. Right. right. That's yours. Right. Get that in um in Romans chapter three. What, what prophet there the Jew? I got the seed. Read. I got the seed, God. Romans chapter three, verse one. Right. What advantage then have the Jew? He says, what advantage then I had the Jew read? Or what prophet is there of circumcision? What's the prophet of the, the covenant that the Most High made with Abraham? Circumcision, read. Much every way. Go ahead. Cheaply, because unto them were committed the oracles of God. Says, Cheaply, the oracles of God was committed to you. Right. This Bible was committed to you. Read. Verse 3. For what if some did not believe? What if some didn't believe? To be honest, if you're neutral, it means you don't believe. Right. It means you don't believe. And you know what you do believe? You believe in this. No, y'all ain't looking at the word with the word believe. Y'all not looking at with the word. Y'all not, y'all not learn Finish about that the off, we're going to get believe. Finish yeah. it off. Read. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Because you're lukewarm. Because you're neutral. Does that mean that this truth they're going to stop? And that the oh. faith of God, does that mean that the people that actually do what the Bible says is not going to make the kingdom? Read. God forbid. God forbid. Read. Yea, let God be true and every man a liar. The Bible's going to be true. Every man that's talking that nonsense is a liar. Now, you said we got to understand what the word believe means. Right, like etymology of it. Like if you look at the word believe and you look at the middle of it, what's in the middle of the word believe? Are you serious? Bro? I mean lie. Believe means to have an opinion. But to know me, this is what it means to believe, brother. Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. Yeah. He that believeth in the Lord, he that believeth in God, does what? Taketh heed to the commandment. You take heed to what the brothers is teaching you today. And get those crazy doctrines out of your mind. That ain't got nothing to do with doctrine. I it is a so. doctrine. Talk about the etymology of believing. You see, B-E, the B part, you see, that's above. You understand? And then the L-I-E, the middle that's of the it, you see, that's, that's a lie. lie. Brother. What the, what the hell are you talking about? No, I, I, I know. I don't believe. I got to know. Knowing you have to know. Listen. Knowing, knowing, knowing and believing not the same thing. Give me First John chapter 2. Knowing and believing not the same thing. Give me, you, you're right. Because you know that Christ is a black man, but you don't believe. Right. So you are right. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing and believing is two different things. You yeah. said you know that this man is not white. Right. You said you know that that man is not Christ. Right. Does that mean you believe it? You don't. You, you're living what you're saying right now. Right. Because you know and you don't believe. Right. Because you're not paying attention to what the Bible is saying. The scriptures told you, let God be true, meaning what's written in this Bible be true. And every man that made up that crazy ass etymology to see the middle of believe is lie. That's crazy. That is nonsense. Right. But you can pull nonsense out of every word. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. Most Give me Deuteronomy 28. Not all of them, no. Bring it out. It is. Most of them. Give me Deuteronomy. 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 Chapter 28, verse 28. This is a know. curse on our people. You're living a curse just like all of us. But this is one of the real ones. Watch. No the Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Lord shall smite you with madness. The stuff that you're saying, the stuff that that other idiot was saying, no, is madness. I ain't nothing like that. And Lord, blindness. Just like him, maybe even worse. I'm not like him. Read. And astonishment and of heart. Blindness and astonishment of heart. Read it again from the top. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Brother, you are mad. All of our people are mad that doesn't want to believe the, the word of truth here. Talk about the etymology of believe. The middle of it is lie. So you see, you can't deal with the word believe. What the hell are you doing? What is that? That makes no sense. Yes, do. Read it again. Read the, definition. the Lord shall smite thee with madness uh -huh. and blindness. And blindness. Believe means that you trust in what is written. And you believe in it, so you're going to do what is written in there. You, you can't believe unless you do what's, what you're told. Right. How can you say you believe in God and not do what he says? Right. It's How can about, you say that? It's all about manifesting. Madness. You ready? Give me that in 2 John. 1 John 2. Verse 4. 1 John chapter 2 verse 4. You know? He that saith, I know yeah, him. And then you're shaking your head. That's bad, brother. What we're seeing now is a brother that's stiff neck, rebellious. You have a doctrine in your head. And you don't really want to hear the truth. I am listening. If I didn't want to hear it, I just walked out. You don't want to hear the truth, though. 
because we're trying to show you out of the Bible. I'm not making up these definitions. The officer didn't make up the law to give you. He read it out of the Bible. The problem is you don't believe. Yet, Lord's will you humble yourself. Lord's will you humble yourself. Right. Lord's will you humble yourself and you learn meekness. Right. And that you understand that this is the word of God. Right. Understand that all the laws that is created here is true and it's real. There's nothing wrong with any law that God has created. Read that again. He that saith, I know him. And does what? And keepeth not his commandments. If you say you know God and you don't keep his commandments, you don't believe. Is what? Is a liar. You don't know God. The first thing you should do is believe that you don't know him so that you can learn. Right. First, admit that you don't know him. We know you don't know him because we can look at you and see that you don't know him, brother. Right. Buying and selling on the Sabbath. You're not wearing fringes. Right. You're not keeping the Sabbath holy. We can see you and know that you don't believe. Right. right. But you're talking to us. We study this. We up. read this. Right. We pull chapter and verse. You don't. Right. So how you gonna come to us and tell us what the hell we doing? What God is doing? Read it again. He that said, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. A liar, brother. Read. And the truth is not in him. Listen, I'm not coming hard on you for no reason. It's just that we trying to show you something, and you always got something else to say about it. Instead of humbling yourself down, ask that little kid, John 18. This is how you learn. You're standing before a man that's teaching you. This is the spirit that you need to have. Or you're not going to learn anything. You're going to keep that crazy ass doctrine in your mind. Right. You have to come back the way Christ told you to be. Read that. John 18 verse. Started, started one or three. You need that oh, as a little children. Uh, Matthew 18. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See? My brother's just correcting me. Did I say, oh no, you wrong? Matthew. No, it's not. Read. Matthew chapter 18, verse 3. Look it up. And he said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted. Except you change all that nonsense in your mind. Read. And become as little children. What does that mean to come as a little child? Right. To be humble. Humble down to when the word of God is coming out. Meaning, we really don't, we, not really, we don't want to hear what you have to say in regards to the word believe when we show you what believe means out of the Bible. You understand? I don't care about the etymology of believe, you see, because the middle of believe is lie, and it, that's, I don't want to hear that because the Bible defines what believe means. Right. It says come as little children. That means humble yourself down and just listen. Just listen, brother. And then when we ask you a question, then you can answer. Humbly meekly so that you can learn and that you can stop being lukewarm and be hot for this truth so that you can get what's rightfully yours. Right. right. This is for you. Right. Read. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Why wouldn't you enter into the kingdom of heaven if you don't come as a child? Why? If you don't humble yourself down and learn, why wouldn't you enter into the kingdom of heaven? because you're not going to listen to the word of God. Well, you're going to have your own doctrine. Look, at, well, look how you well, act. Well, wait, well, talk. wait. Talk. You can have heaven on earth, they say. How do you get heaven on earth? You've got to create it yourself. You can't, you, can't, you can't find it. Read that. Read it. Finish that off and then give Matthew 6. Verse 4. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself uh -huh. as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The same is going to be great in the kingdom of heaven. Now, I can see that you have a lot of doctrines in your head that you did not, not really, read Most of out of the Bible. It's a mystery, man. It's, not a, it's a mystery to you. Bro. No, not this. But like, get like, Matthew 6. Creation is a mystery. You can get heaven on earth, right? Mm -hmm. How do you get that? That's the question you should be asking. Come on. It's how do I get heaven on earth? Not coming at us talking about heaven on earth. We can read heaven on earth for you. You want us to read it? Thank you, come on. So that you can get the understanding of it, right? Humble yourself down and read, read. Matthew, chapter 6, you ready, verse 9. Go ahead. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will 
When it's going to be done, where? In earth! Where? In earth! Read it again. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come! Most high God's kingdom is going to come. It's coming, whether you believe it or not. Read. Thy will! The Most High's will is going to be done in that kingdom. What is the Most High's will now? Come on. Pick it up. The same thing that we're showing you. We're showing you love, right? We're showing you love because we're going to show you how to get the Most High's kingdom. Edification. Read. Psalms chapter 40 verse 8. You know, I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. He says, I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Read. Yea, thy law. Thy what? Thy law. Thy what? Thy law. Is where? Is within my heart. The Most High's will is his laws. Right? Now go back to Matthew 6. Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. All right. So one thing you was like, we're creating heaven on earth, you have to find it, right? Mm -hmm. I said create it. Create it, right? Yeah. How are you going to create it? Right. How are you creating it? You got to create it, put it to your mind. How are you creating it? Okay. Mind, focus. Okay. Plan it. Uh -huh. Plan strategy, I'll manifest. Okay. So, that's how, that's how I manifest. so say it one more time. You got to do what? Plan, plot, strategize, manifest. Keep it to your mind. Okay. Right? Plan, plot, strategize, 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 manifest. Manifest, right? Plan. Say it one more time. Plan, plot, strategize, manifest. Now, earlier I seen you writing it down, right? So when you plan the plot and you strategize, you put it down, right? Everything that's in your mind, you put it down, right? What do you think this is? Bring it out. This is how you get the kingdom right here. Bring right. It this out. is how you manifest the kingdom. Come on. Bring right. it out. And you're trying to reject it. No, no. Well, pay attention when the officer's teaching, man. Because it's coming out of this Bible. Like, if you plan, if you plan, plot, strategize. You write it down so that you can continually see your vision. You continually see that vision and then you work that vision, right? All right? Get, uh, real quick, get Luke 21. Is that what I'm on? Chapter 17, verse 20. Yeah. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, uh -huh. he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. So it's just not standing on the outside looking, come on. You have to put in that word. How are you going to manifest the kingdom that you have in your mind, that you plan, plot, write down, and you don't do a damn thing to manifest it? Bring it out. Right? That's what's happening right now, come on. That work being put in that the most high God planned, plotted, strategized. Work. Everything that would cause you to live and everything that would cause you to create a kingdom work. is right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just taking you, our people, to repent, to manifest it. Right. That's what's happening on this earth today, come on. Right. Finish reading that. Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, uh -huh. for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is within our people. Right. It just has to come out. Right. We just have to change our mind. Right. Walk, walk according to God's strategy, his plan, right. his will right. Right. to make it manifest. Come on. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.